Hi all, I am Prasant Thakre. Welcome in the series of AWS Solution Auditor Certification Exam Dumb. Today I am going to cover the question related to the network load balancer as well as the auto scaling. And I have observed that this question has come multiple times in the exam. So let's jump on the question. Question says the customer has an application that is used by enterprise customer outside of AWS. Some of these customers use legacy firewall that cannot whitelist by the DNS name but whitelist based only on the IP address. So let's uh, highlight the main points provided into the question that uh, it can be exited by using the IP address and uh, it cannot be whitelist by the DNS name. The application is currently deployed into two availability zones with one EC2 instance in each that has the elastic IP address. The customer want to whitelist only the two IP address but the two existing EC2 instances cannot sustain the amount of traffic. So here the main problem is the amount of traffic and you can see like that it has been mentioned that uh, we are using the two availability zone and each availability zone there is the one EC2 instance is already configured. But only problem is like that the, these two EC2 instances are not able to handle the amount of traffic. What can a solution architect do to support the customer and allow for more capacity choose to? I am jumping on the option. Create a network load balancer with an interface in each subnet and assign, it, assign a static IP address to each subnet. Yes. So here network load balancer is required so that it can route the traffic based on that uh, based on that amount of traffic if, if one instance is highly occupied it will redirect to the another uh, EC2 instance. So we need a network load balancer here and yes of course in the each subnet if we are providing the network load balancer we are having the high availability of network load balancer so it looks fine to me so i am marking it as uh, right let's jump on the another option create additional ec2 instance and put them on standby remap an elastic ip address to standby no no this is not the right answer the reason is that standby will not be useful to handle your traffic so i am marking it as wrong use amazon route 53 with a weighted round robin routing policies across the elastic IP address to resolve one at a time. So I will not go for the route 53 because already it has mentioned that legacy firewall that cannot whitelist by the DNS name. So I will not prefer here the route 53 can act anything and can be useful for uh, it can be useful to resolve this particular issue. Add additional EC2 instance with elastic IP address and register them with the Amazon Route 53. Um, this again, it's not the right answer. The reason is that uh, we are not providing any kind of scalability. Just we are saying that, okay, I'm just adding the EC2 instances. But if suppose you are adding, but you are not able to utilize it, then there is no use of this EC2 instances. So I will mark it as a wrong answer. Let's jump on the next option. Switch the two existing EC2 instance for an auto scaling group and register them with the network. This is the perfect answer. So here what exactly we are doing like that? We are having the existing two EC2 instance and so we are putting into the auto scaling group. And when we are putting into the auto scaling group, it means if there is a high load, it will auto it automatically AWS will scale and will provision the new EC2 instances and uh, now you can uh, sustain the amount of traffic. So I will go with the A and E. I have considered the one more uh, diagram on it for the visualization purpose. So here you can think about that uh, the first point here is the user and uh, now you are having a network uh, communication by using the route 53. And here is the network API gateway and this is the one and two is the network load balancer. And I have put my this one and two EC2 instances into the auto scaling group. So it will scale horizontally whenever the amount of traffic is very high then automatically AWS will uh, provision the new EC2 instance here and here as well. And now your all problem is resolved. So I will go ahead with the option number uh, A and E. Uh, that's all from my side. Thanks guys.